Okay, so the first card that's fallen is the bouquet, which says compliments from an admirer. So somebody out there looking at you, looking good. Um, and you've got the grasshopper card below it. So situations in the balance that require careful handling. So you've got the secret admirer, but you've also got some situations going on that you need to handle quite carefully. You've got the claw card over here. It says, be careful, don't take any risks. So a difficult situation coming in, uh, requiring careful consideration and make sure you're not taking any risks. So in the past, you've got the bag, which says something important, such as a new job or a raise. So you may have had something coming in as far as money goes. And then you've got the star card over here, which says guaranteed success. So you've been, uh, you know, getting there and, you know, you've been successful um, at what you've been doing so far. So going to the future, you've got the shark, which says take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. So just watch things very carefully. It's probably got to do with this um, situation that requires careful consideration. So make sure you're looking at all the facts, considering all your options and uh, doing some research before you make any big decisions especially anything involving money. Then you've got the Beetle card over here, which says good fortune coming in for you. So uh, provided that, you know, you, you do your research, that you're very careful, it looks like, you know, you will get good fortune. Things will go your way. So that's the energies for that week. So this is the Witch's Tarot, and I'm going to do the main read with it. Okay, so you've got the Page of Swords over here. So some official news coming in for you, uh, something that you need to sort out. So this is probably the situation that you need to make sure you're considering things very carefully. The Page of Swords usually brings in something legal, something official. Um, you could be dealing with people that are a bit sneaky and a bit, you know, uh, gossipy or, or, you know, somebody carrying tales. So watch out that, uh, you know, you're not dealing with people that are very honest. The Page of Swords tends to be a bit of a sneak, uh, and you could be dealing with that kind of a person or that kind of energy as well. So what's going on with you? You're watching your money very, very carefully. You've got the Six of Pentacles over here, making sure everything is in balance, sorting out your finances. You are spending a lot of money on your children as well, it seems like that, in this situation. Um, you may have gone and taken out a loan, or you may have had asked for some financial assistance, uh, and you're dealing with that at this particular moment. So if you were in a bit of a financial problem, it seems like you may have ha asked for help, and you have received some help. But um, all in all, this is a card about balance of your finances. So you are trying to sort it out. You're trying to to make sure you're not spending too much uh, and you know you're keeping quite a close eye on it you've got the page of cups over here so there's been some kind of offer you could have started some kind of uh, study process as well because the page of cups is usually about information it's usually about study starting a course doing something you know maybe a seminar something short um, about information coming in for you as well so um you know, it looks like it, it could well be about information, something that you want. And the Page of Cups, Cups also brings in news about an offer. Maybe this is a new job offer that you're considering. Maybe you've seen an advert for a job and, you know, you want to go for it. So this could well be the case with this Page of Cups. So in the past, you've got the King of Wands, and this is your card. And this is showing that, you know, you are quite on top of things. You are in charge of things. You are, um, you know, very much... Um, a leader you have taken on a leadership role in this last year and you are uh, you know pretty relaxed and pretty happy about being in this job and it definitely was a new job you've got the uh, ace of pentacles as well following that so a new leadership position in a job uh, that has come in uh, over the last year and it's bringing in some money as well new money so you've got a decision to make. You've got the Seven of Cups over here. You are a bit confused about what to do. And you are considering a lot of options. So there's a lot of things on the table at the moment. And you're trying to make up your mind about what you want to do. And that's been playing on your mind as well. Uh, whatever situation you are at, you are being, uh, you're under pressure. This is a very pressure, pressurized situation with a lot of demands coming at you, a lot of requests from people, and you're caught to act on a lot of things at the same time. So you're trying to do things one at a time, sort it out one at a time. 
This is also defending yourself in any kind of situation uh, where a lot of people are demanding or making demands of you or having to defend all your decisions that you're making. So whatever decisions you're making, you are defending it. But it looks like, you know, you are faced with a lot of responsibilities over here and you've got a lot of things that you need to sort out, especially with the seven of cups over here, a lot of decisions that you need to make. And this is also defending all those decisions as to why you're making it. So you're pretty busy at the moment. And this is because, you know, you have this leadership position over here. So, you know, you're working pretty hard at this particular moment. So you've got the Ace of Cups over here, a new phase, a new cycle within your emotional life. It seems like you've moved on, you're starting something brand new, you've matured quite a bit, um, and, you, you know, you're pretty relaxed, pretty happy uh, as far as your, um, you know, your emotions go and your home life goes. So what's happening around you? You have the King of Swords over here, so there's some kind of legal decision uh, that is pending or you're waiting for a judgment to come through. You're going to get some news about it with this Page of Swords as well. And at the bottom of the deck, um, b below that, you've got the, uh, the Ten of Cups, so that looks like it might be something to do with the family. There might be some kind of legalities involving the family situation, but you are waiting for a decision to come through. And that will come through soon. The Knight of Cups shows that they're, uh, you know, you're hoping for an offer some kind of good offer to come through for you as well. Uh, like I said, with the Page of Cups, maybe you have put out feelers or you've been putting out your CV or something where you've been applying for this offer. This could be new studying. Maybe you're applying for to do a course and you're waiting for the answers. And this is showing you waiting for that offer to come through for you. So going into the future, you've got the World, uh, the Three of Wands and the Nine of Swords. So the World is about a job situation. This is about work because this is a card ruled by Saturn. So this is being established in a particular job, being at the top of it and achieving. It's a card of achievement, achieving all the goals that you set out for yourself and, you know, uh, reaching in, in to a very high position, a, a good managerial position. This is a card talking also about travel. So your work might take you out traveling as well. And you've got the three of wands following it. So it looks like you've got projects that are going to be uh, completed or you're dealing with people from overseas or you're working on a very international scale. Um, so you've made plans, you put them out there, and now you're dealing with people from an international um, arena. This is also showing, since this man is facing the world card, that you are going to be doing some travel, maybe going to make, make sure that those plans are going correctly or going to plan, um, you know, out there. So, you, you know, whatever you've started uh, in your work, you're going out, you're branching out, you're launching this plan on a bigger scale, you're launching your projects on a bigger scale. So a lot of international work coming up for you there. And it's a very stressful situation. You're not getting very much sleep. Uh, maybe you have a lot of jet lag as well from the whole uh, scenario, but dealing with a lot of problems as well from um, whoever you're dealing with from the work front as well. So whatever plans you're working with or whatever projects you're working with has got an international flavor to it. It looks like there's going to be travel. You're in a leadership position, but it's also causing a lot of stress and anxiety and a lot of worry on your part. Maybe you're trying to sort out problems as well that are occurring overseas and, you know, you need to be there to sort these problems out and that is causing the anxiety in itself. So, let's see what's... Uh, I'm going to draw some cards from the Goddess uh, Inspiration Oracle and let's see, it says... Um, enlightenment, which is the goddess of knowledge. So there looks like there is some kind of course you're going to be doing. So you're you're thinking about studying further, it seems, or um, uh, getting some kind of um, further um, improvement on your skill set. And it looks like that's what you're planning on. And you've got the goddess of knowledge coming over here. So enlightenment awaits you, prepare for it. So it looks like uh, this is Saraswati. So this is about learning and communicating that knowledge as well. So it looks like uh, you're going to be um, doing some kind of studying, some kind of course. And then you've got uh, Erda, which says, look to the earth for, um, the writing's not so good, uh, look to the earth for answers. So this is the goddess of earth. So you might need to take a little bit of vacation, get back uh, to nature in a, in a way, um, you know, and draw that energy from it. So maybe that is in the cards for you. And um, you've got the goddess of talents, which says your talents um, can bring you wealth. Uh, look for opportunities. So uh, you are very, very um, talented, very, very skilled. And it looks like you, when you put out your CV or you're applying for new jobs or you're even as you're working, you need to make people aware that you're very multi-talented and multi-skilled. And this is how the opportunities will be opening up for you. 
So it looks like you're very, very work focused. Your private life or your your emotional life seems to be on track. Uh, there is some kind of legal decision that you're waiting for to come through. But your work might take you overseas or might take you traveling. And that might bring on a lot of stress. Make sure that you de-stress. And it looks like, you know, there could be some kind of seminar you do or some kind of course that you do before you actually um, go, um, you know, traveling. Um, you're waiting for maybe um, some kind of opportunity to come through because you will, are improving your skill set. And your goddess of talent says you are very, very talented and make sure that people are aware of your talents and this is how you will draw in all the opportunities. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Oh my dear, I haven't done <laughs> the angel um, oracle for you. I do apologize. I did wonder why the reading was so short. <laughs> okay, this is from the uh, angel uh, tarot. And the first one is the high priestess, which says, listen to your intuition. Have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. Now, uh, the high priestess is about learning and studying. And you can see she has a book in her hand. She is the keeper of the knowledge. So it looks like you are definitely going to be doing some kind of course, some kind of uh, further education. And that's coming up for you. Also, make sure that you're not telling everybody all your secrets. The high priestess, it's best to keep, um, you know, mums the word. Rather look and listen rather than speaking about whatever's going on with you. So keep uh, your cards pretty close to your chest as well with that card. Then you've got balance, which says the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. So this is the temperance card. And this is about making sure that you're balancing your work and your um, private life. Uh, and, you know, don't overdo things. Don't focus too much on one thing. Make sure that you are uh, getting that balance. And also uh, a need to watch diet, exercise, uh, you know, watch your health because the balance of the Tempest card is about health and healing. So make sure you are keeping tabs on that. Don't overstress yourself. And then you've got the Three of Fire, which is the Three of Wands, which says abundance. Things look very good. Have patience uh, at this time. Make long-term plans. So you can see this person is looking out. They are making plans. But like I said, this is also about travel. So you could well be taking your projects overseas, traveling with them. Um, but things are definitely going to look up and abundance coming in with these cards. So thank you so much for watching. Um, it looks like you are very work focused. It looks like there is going to be some kind of studying coming in as well. And make sure that, you know, you're not going around telling people all your plans, keep them to yourself. Try and find that balance between work and um, um, your uh, private life you, uh, and get some kind of relaxation as well because you know you could end up very very stressed and this could in itself could lead to a lot of stress illnesses so thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye <laughs>